The piano goes so hard in that track. Piano everywhere. Hello, good morning. <laughs> I've been awake since 6.30 a.m. Uh, yeah. Um, I think it was, yeah, about 6.30. I finally rolled out of bed at like 6.40. Um, and I thought I was going to sit at the car shop for like six plus hours because every other time I've been to the car shop, that's how long I've sat there. So this time I only was there for like an hour and a half, which was amazing. So I was like, okay, cool, great, awesome. Um, and so I have all this extra time today. So I'm going to stream. I'm so excited. Um, I switch. Hi, Coco. Hi, Tara. Great to see you both. Hi, Disney. Great to see you as well. Oh my gosh, the little Hamtaro emote. Oh my gosh. Where did that come from? The little Hamtaro. I love it. I love Hamtaro so much. Oh my gosh. Well, her, her Hamtaro emote is adorable and wonderful. I think we were still battling people in the in the circle in uh, Pyrite Town, if I am correct. Yeah, the dual square. Keep that keep that there in case I need it. I don't remember who we've battled and who we haven't. <laughs> I think we did this guy already. Me? Wow. Oh, did it not? Oh, okay. Co 15 stream streak. Nice. Bonjour. Do you know my Pokemon and I match très bien? I don't think I can ever lose now. I show you, I'll show you my aggressive style. That was a terrible French accent. I apologize. Bodybuilder Doby. Doby or not Doby? <laughs> that was the question. That one wasn't very good. I thought we were in France. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, these are good, like, um... Grind-up places, right? I think I'm gonna destroy him with these side beams though. How did he get his body to even be those proportions? Uh I don't know, but I would I would no, I was gonna say I could hit the gym for that, but I don't think I would ever wanna be like that. Cause like cause like Okay, I watched a video of um what the heck is going on here with my cables? I watched this video of this guy and he had pretty broad shoulders. <laughs> and he was like, this is something that people don't think about. And he was like, but I can't sleep on my side anymore unless I have multiple pillows. He's like, because when I lay on my side, if I try to like touch the pillow, my whole head goes like this. And he was like, and then I get a crick in my neck. And he was like, so, and he was like, but I sleep most comfortably on my side. He said, so now I have to stack the pillows up, which is just a bother. I was like, you know what? I never thought about that. This guy, he could not sleep on his side. <clears throat> Brozone used side beam. Also steroids, botched surgeries. Too much oil in his arms? I've heard of Botox injections. I've never heard of oil injections. I am also a side sleeper. I sleep on my side curled up like in the fetal position. Um, but anyway. Darn it all. Played things too aggressively. I forgot the French accent until right now. This can't be right. Fatine's fortune telling has a reputation of never being wrong. You just inject olive oil. Is that what it is? Here's the windmill. The electricity generated by this windmill powers the Colosseum and ONBS, among other places. If the gears don't break or get stolen, the windmill is an infinite source of energy. 
Oh, for 35 years I have spun these gears. Oh, what's with you, youngster? Do you want to spin gears too? Uh, yeah. Oh, haha, not to disappoint you, but this isn't a job that anyone can just pick up. Bodybuilders would sometimes inject what's called synthol into their arms in small amounts to give an illusion of on stage of being bigger. And some guys take it too far and just inject way too much and look disproportionately terrible. Ew. That's legit gross. <laughs> Synthol just sounds <laughs> so fake. <laughs> there was once a town ruled by Cypher beneath the cliff here. That town was just called the Under. When Cypher's hold over the town was broken, the Under citizens moved out into the sunlight. I'm one of them. ONBS's oh, net is another former resident of the Under. They went and buried the Under to prevent people from getting to the abandoned town site. It's sad to see my hometown go like that. It is crazy that, like, uh, most locations in this game were locations that were also in Colosseum, but you can't visit the Ender. My name's Rocket! I'm warming up right now. Could I get you to clear the way? Um, you have this whole- oh, he running back and forth. Oh, he just walks down here and then turns and runs. Gotta go fast! <laughs> I found a great ball. Great! Oh my goodness gracious. What the heck? Can I not get past him? There. Yeah. When Cypher ruled Pyrite, the admin in charge was a man named Mirror B, I think the name was. That name is laughably, laughably silly, but he was supposed to be a tough battler. I would have liked to take him on. Yay, healing machine. All the party Pokemon were healed. Hello, this is the Pyrite Coliseum. Would you like- do we want to do this yet? I feel like it would be a nice way to get some mo- um. What am I saying? That's a confusing design with Rocket. What do you mean? I don't know if I should visit ONBS or if I should do the Coliseum challenge. I'm going to sneak a little peek at my guide and see what it says to do. <laughs> okay. So I can do the Colosseum or ONBS in whatever order I choose. So I might go to do ONBS first. Chick-fil-A nuggies, yum. Oh, how you can't go past him, yeah. Shrimp tempura taco meal kit? Oh, that sounds pretty good. I'm just not eating currently. I had breakfast this morning, which is not something I normally do, but I, since I've been up so long, I was hungry. Ooh, I want to get some lemonades from this. Hi, Puffy. Get some, ooh, they got the Moo Moo Milks. It's fine, I think lemonade is the best bang for your buck. As far as like, HP to money. Am I too backlit? Like, is it too- is my window too blown out? Should I close it? I'm 
gonna go for 10. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, last one. <laughs> Cleared out the vending machine's lemonades. This is the ONBS building. There have been too many shady people hanging around lately. I'm keeping an eye on things to keep the keep out those sorts of bad elements. Apparently I look trustworthy. I'm also like a 14 year old kid. Welcome to ONBS. All visitors are free to wander the ONBS building and see our network in operation. My name is Meg and I'm the official guide. Glad to meet you. Shroomish. This is Shroomish, my friend. This Shroomish is my friend. Isn't it cute? We broadcast TV signals all across the Ore region. I hope you'll take the time to see how we work. What can you tell me, Meg? Oh. Hi, Shroomish. We chillin'. Did you come to take a tour of ONBS too? I've been here lots of times. ONBS used to be called the Kids Grid HQ before. I heard it was started by a bunch of kids. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it'd be so cool to have a third game in the series. Wonder if anybody's got anything in uh, these lockers. Can I go through the trash? Whiteboard? Where's all your stuff, people? We're getting the news reports from all over like we always do. Our reporters are keeping busy. The hottest news story going right now is the wild Pokemon story. It's become the latest craze. ONBS was founded by SEC and NET. It's now the biggest information network in the Ori region. Nowadays, SEC handles the business sides of things and NET acts as the chief of engineering and technology. Oh, sorry, that was maybe a little complicated. Feel free to wander and look around. We just wandering into studios. Razzle and Dazzle are a hot new idol duo from Gateon Port. They can sing, dance, and even perform magic stunts. How are they spinning without moving their feet? They really are magic. Hi, I'm Dazzle. Aren't I just the cutest? This is how I always am. After all, we're going to be dancing in front of the show's title logo. We have to show us at our very best. And their, um, their little, whatever they're juggling, the juggle things are changing colors. I feel that I have a few games I'd love a sequel for, but I doubt that will ever happen. Yeah. Hi, my name is Razzle. I've been chosen to dance during the opening of a new program. I'm ecstatic, but I'm really nervous too. What should I do? Don't mess it up. Peace. Ore, ore, ore network. Ah, did you hear me? Oh no, it's so embarrassing. That was the ONBS song I composed. It's catchy and memorable, don't you think? Welcome to ONBS. The name's Sec. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I'm glad to meet you. Started by kids five years ago during the Shadow Incident, a tiny network has grown into this today. I operate this place with my partner, Net. We're convinced that reporting the unvarnished truth will be for the good of peace and justice. Anyways, did you want something from me? Passed on the message. You're kidding! Cypher was using its desert lab again? Okay, understood. You should take that data ROM and show it to Net right away. I'm sure he can decipher whatever information is stored on that data ROM. After fighting against Cypher five years ago, we decided a free press that reports the truth was necessary to protect the peace and justice of people. That's why Net and I founded the ONBS. It's not an easy job to report the unvarnished truth in a fair manner. In a way, this is a battle too.
It's locked. Interesting. Let's not go upstairs yet. Welcome back, Puffy. I'm hoping to put together a new Pokemon battle program. I'm gathering information for it. I'm trying to decide on the star. Hmm, since it's a program of, about battling, I suppose the legendary trainer Egan would be the logical choice. I don't know where my mommy is. Please, can you help me find my mommy? Sure. Yay, thank you. I wonder where my mommy went. Little girl joined the party. Well, she's not in here. <laughs> this your mom? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if her mom was like literally that lady right there in the other room? Okay, we're going live. Q! Can we put the little girl into a PC box? She is a legendary Pokemon. We bring you a special news bulletin. Professor Crane, the abducted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has been safely rescued. Professor Grain had been held captive in Cypher's desert research facility, which was widely believed to have been abandoned. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone teen. The incident is evidence that Cypher has returned after apparently being crushed five years ago. The authorities fear that Cypher's return could result in more serious incidents. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. That's a wrap. Good job, Anka. Her name is Anka. It might be hard to imagine, but when An Anka was starting out, she was prone to on-air disasters. Now look at her. She's become ONBS's top newscaster. There's absolutely no question about that these days. Anka's looking great like she always does. All right, all right, we get it. Y'all simping over Anka. Anka, whatever. I'm Anka. I'm a newscaster here at ONBS. My job is to deliver the news to as many people as possible. When I was just starting out, I did experience some close calls, but still I find this job to be fulfilling. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Looking for a, a mother. Mm -hmm. I know that I still have my looks, but when I'm going before the TV camera, I still- I have to be extra caref careful with my makeup. Why? Dear, can't you see that a lady is getting ready? Please don't come in any closer. Well, fine. Guess I can't get that item yet. <laughs> oh, this isn't going well. I have to go in the air soon, but my candy hasn't come back. Oh, mommy! Candy, sweetheart! Mommy! Oh, am I glad to see you. I was worried about you. You seem to just disappear. I'm sorry, Mommy. I went out of your room for just a minute, but then I couldn't find it again. That guy there brought me here. Oh, my. How very kind of you. Thank you. Now give me something. <laughs> when I was lost, I felt really lonesome, Mommy. I'm so glad we found you, Mommy. Thank you, too. Sincerely, thank you. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nice. Got a soothe bell. Candy has to go into the studio to tape a music program. I'm sure it will be aired soon. When it is, I hope you'll tune in and see her, see her sing. Man, is she slow. How long is she going to keep me waiting? Oh, I'm supposed to be out covering a story with our oldest veteran reporter, but she takes forever getting ready every time. The day will be done at this rate. I don't think I've battled, so I don't think I need that, right? Hey, hey, we can't have you wandering around here. It's not safe. Come on, out you go. This is where we keep sets and props. We can't have you getting hurt here, so out you go, all right? Guess I have to get these items later. The library? Your daughter is very dense, miss. I'll give back the kid for a reward. Is that not called uh, kidnapping for ransom? <laughs> Keeping information as data is fine, but I also like seeing it in printed form on paper. 
You see, I enjoy the feel of paper as I flip the pages. Me preferring books over, um, like ebooks. Nothing against ebooks. I just like the feel of a book. Can't go in here. I've been told by Net to not allow anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab? But I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Detro, do we have a visitor? Oh, Net, this person here says he's come calling from the Pokemon HQ lab. Oh, yes, I was expecting him. Please show him through. Oh, sure thing. I'll let him through. Now, please. Net's waiting for you inside. Good, I was about to bust your face. It's gonna bust your face. <laughs> Hi. I'm called Bit. Nice to meet you. Glad to meet you. Net's over there. Hello, I've been expecting you. You're V, right? I'm Net. And this is Bit. He's my friend and an invaluable partner. Pleased to meet you. We heard from Professor Crane. Sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Yes, Bit, but now's not the time to waste chatting. Let's see the data Professor Crane called about. Here's your data wrong. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents of this data ROM. Can you wait while I do that? Hey, Net, how's this for an idea? Our news team should be out visiting Duking at one of the Pokestops to file a story about wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Duking as well? Hey, that's good. Good suggestion, Bit. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? It wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Oh, yes. May I have your PDA number? I'll contact you as soon as I find anything out. Here you go. Thank you. I'll try to decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, where's our news team? Um, I think they're at, they said the rock Pokestop. I think this Pokestop was the destination. Okay, V, go out to the Pokestop, Pokespot. Have I been calling it stop? Poke spot and wait for me to call. Who knows? You may see some wild Pokemon. I should. I think I should do the Colosseum stuff before I go to the Poke spot. We bring you ONBS news. This is a story on the man who works inside Pyrite's landmark. The town's. Did I already read this? Yeah, I, I already watched this. It's about the guy lying about um, working for thirty-five years or whatever. I've deciphered something like this before. Last time it was the best of Rick Astley. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. So, um, when I went to Colorado in October for a, the beginning of October for a wedding, <clears throat> instead of dancing, which there was a little bit of dancing at the reception, but instead of mostly dancing, they had open karaoke. <clears throat> and they, like, encouraged everybody to do at least one song. And I did a few. And I did one with Holland. But, um, the first song I did was Never Gonna Give You Up. <laughs> hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in this town? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear ya. If we don't hurry, the boss will get impatient and come looking for us himself. Oh, we're okay on that score. I went and snuck a transmitter on the boss. You could tell where he is by checking this radar, so we can always be ready for him when he blows his top. I have to hand it to you, Folly. Way to go. Huh? Trudley, looks like we got email. Yeah, is it the boss? Hmm, let's see. You two come back right now, it says. Ah, oh, gosh darn it all. He sounds like he's fuming. I don't know whose voice is what now. He might dock us dinner again. We better scoot back. <sighs> well, so much for the radar. It's not much use if the boss is gonna pay us by email. Oh man, why do my lives ha have to be this tragic? I don't- I literally don't know who's, what voice is whose. I know, I'm sorry that y'all missed it. I might be slightly underleveled, but I kind of want to give it a shot anyway. Doing the, uh, the Colosseum. It's not a Nuzlocke, true. I've got another sleeping dog on my 
The same sleeping dog. I shouldn't say another. Another instance of a sleeping dog on my bed right now. She must just like listening to me. Yes, I would like to enter. You will enter? Excellent. Will you be entering with the Pokemon in your party? No, I'm going to enter with yours. I'll show you in. I hope you'll try hard to win your challenge. Anybody got any fun Thanksgiving plans? Traveling, staying home, family over, going to families. I'm entering with you. <laughs> I'm the first in line. I'll leave you tingling with shock. I don't. I don't want to tingle. Staying home, same. Nice, nice. Oh, by the time we're done with the Colosseum, we'll be able to, uh, um, purify. Golden. 24 pound turkey! Sheesh! Let me mud slap the Pichu. Pichu cute. My attack is already pretty terrible, so this might not actually be that great. Yeah. Not the fake tear. Wow, that was a lot of fake tears. We wanted two smaller ones, but they gave a discount on just one turkey, so we went big. Gotcha. Five to eight pound turkey. All right, let's just, uh, we're just gonna double up. We're just gonna double up. Lurking without sound at the moment for some silent stream support. Hello, thank you. Oh my goodness. That hurt. Fur swipes. I said furry. I mean, Teddy Ursa is kind of fu furry, I guess. Pretty sure you get healed up at the end of every battle, so I might just let Gulpin die. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Smooch him! At least, in my opinion, in my experience, I should say, I think Smoochum has one of the better attack stats for baby Pokemon. So I don't hate Smoochum as much as some of the other babies. <laughs> I'm gonna switch Brozone out for Eugene. Good job, buddy. Eugene Fitzherbert, you're up. Good job, though, Gulpin. After we get out of this Coliseum, I'll... Please and thank you. Oh, thank you so much for following. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um. I don't remember if I was about to say something. We got some icy wind. All right, let's do, I'm gonna do return on Pichu. Didn't he don't hate Smoochum either? He just waiting for her to evolve. Oh, I see. You girl jinx. Uh, time for me to go, see you later, and hopefully I can keep growing my streak more than three. Bye Puffy, have a wonderful rest of the day. Thanks for popping by. Jamie Quiggs, should I just call you Jamie? And thank you so much for the lurk and the follow. I hope you have a great day. Speaking of Jinx, are any of you guys Arcane fans? 
Um, I haven't watched season two yet, so please no spoilers, but I would like to watch it soon, because I really did enjoy season one. Cool. Nice to meet you, Jamie. Another Pichu! Is Smoochum... I can't remember. Is Feel Strong Against Ice? I don't know. I'll find out spoilers just to give you them. No! I know you- I know you joking because you know how much it sucks to be spoiled. For some reason, I feel like the internet just loves to hand you spoilers on a silver platter. Don't kiss me, that's non-consensual. Even if you are a cute little ice baby thing. I guess it's okay if like infants kiss me. I'm, not, I'm fine with that, I guess. Um, Cause it's, you know, just sweet, but. All right, that didn't that didn't give us as much. I'm not a present. Delightful. Oh my goodness. My honey bear. Yeah, I'm a little bit under level. Don't hurt yourself. I probably should be doing return, but who said I was intelligent? <laughs> Nothing like a bomb for a gift. Well, now we know what's on Disney's Christmas list, everybody. Is this the end of Honey? Yeah. Crap! <laughs> Internet do be giving me spoilers, it's true. Yeah, I, I called Santa and I said that um, Disney really wants a bomb for Christmas. And Santa said, huh? And I said, don't worry, he's been a good boy this year. And Santa said, okay! So, you know, you're welcome. any dark type moves except bite on this thing. We're gonna double bite. It is bite sized, that little Pichu. I do have Santa connections. Y'all thought my height was accidental. Or coincidental, I mean. So y'all y'all better not be acting a fool when Santa is literally on his way to town. Hi, Coley. Happy Tuesday. Oh you. Battle two. How's the day going, Coley? How's the day going? Foo foo foo! Check them out! My Pokemon form a golden trio! Is that metaphorical or are they actually yellow? I've been told I'm accidental many times. I don't believe that. Because I don't believe that anybody is accidental. You may have been a surprise, but I think all people have purpose. Very rainy, but I'm okay with that. Is it chilly as well? I imagine it has to be very chilly. We're gonna sludge that Chikorita! The music's so good! Nice 30 degrees. It hasn't gotten that cold yet at all this, like, this season. I think it, it is supposed to dip into the 30s, and I think actually like one day next week is like a low of 29 or something, which is very cold for us. But I'm excited because it's been so warm for so long. Surprise, mistake, what's the diff? Lots of things are the diff. Chikorita's so cute, I hate to hurt it, but you know, that's what we're here for. I do, I do really like 
the Johto starters. I just have, I do have a, such a soft spot for them. I think probably because Gen 2 games were like the first games that I owned. Um, I had played Pokemon Blue with a friend before that, but Pokemon Gold was the first Pokemon game I ever owned. And I played through a lot of it with my mom. And so I have a lot of really like good memories about that. And like Johto is like the region and the Pokemon that my mom know the, knows the best. So it's, I just have a soft spot for it in those ways. Like my mom's favorite Pokemon is Meganium. If I haven't, I think I've mentioned that before, but in case people didn't know or didn't remember. I don't remember if Poison is very strong against Cyndaquil, but... Pokemon Johto! Po Johto starters are all solid. Yeah. And I really appreciate the fact that, like, I don't think any of the Johto starters get a secondary type, right? They're all just, like, pure typings. And it's so rare to have that nowadays, and I really kind of enjoy the simplicity of that. Um, I feel like starting with Gen 3... Like, all starters end up with dual typings, which might be nice for, like, end game or, you know, just type coverage in general. But there's something charming, I think, about the simplicity of having your starters stay their pure typing the entire game. Um, so, even, I mean, even Gen 1 had um, Venusaur and Charizard, which are dual types, but um, there's just something charming about it, I think. <clears throat> I'm glad you sang it how I did it in my head. Good. Pokemon Johto! Look at him, he's so cute! Okay, so if you guys had to pick a starter Pokemon, and the, the qualification for the pick here is, what do you think is the most huggable uh, starter, who would you pick? That's the qualification. Who is the most huggable starter? Um, I have my pick for that, um, even though I it's not one of my favorite um, starters. I think, I think there are lots of good contenders for this, but I think, in my opinion, one of the most huggable starters would be Oshawott. Uh, so that would be my pick. But Rowlet is a great option. I mean, obviously. This is Jeff. He's one of my Rowlets in my collection. I have multiple Rowlets. This is Jeff. And he's very huggable. And squish. And he stays on my bed. And I sometimes use him as a pillow. But most of the time I just use him for the squish. I see he's very squish. Very huggable. Can confirm. Rowlet very huggable. But Oshawott I think would be cute because like the little arms, you know? Chimchar? <clears throat> but I do think Chimchar could be very huggable because Chimchar could like nicely hug back. Where's the Rowlet costume? Chimchar perfect throwing out windows. Tell us how you really feel. I'm also a Chimchar hater. Semi-final! You're aiming to beat me? That's not about to happen. Rowlet pretty cute. Rowlet pretty cute. Alright, we're gonna switch. We switching. Eugene still hasn't leveled up? Goodness, Eugene. What is taking you so long? Routes could definitely destroy my Gulpin, but let's see what happens. Finnegan would probably give super warm hugs. That's a good point. That's a good point.
Ah, revert mode. Routes used attract. Okay, ya hussy. <laughs> <laughs> Cyndaquil does look huggable. All, I, genu I mean, genuinely, I think all the starters are huggable in their own way. Rats and gulpin sitting in a tree. Seating in a tree, actually, Disney said. I have dog hair, like, all over my mic. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> and then I bit her to death. Thank goodness we leveled up finally. I really love all of the animations that they made for this game. I know some of them are kind of goofy or over the top, but I think generally um, the animations for all the Pokemon in battle are really, really nice. All right, we're gonna switch out to Honey again because I'm trying to keep the team leveled. I liked how you called her rats. Did I? Ralts. I didn't mean to. Ralts. Routes. Is it Routes or Ralts? I don't know. I think I interchange them. Open confused. He was confused and he was attracted. <sighs> Sounds like me when I look at Thanos. <laughs> I need to chill. <laughs> Ralts like waltz. Okay. I don't remember which one I said second, Disney. You gonna have to help a girl out. <laughs> Ratty woman with the rabies. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Tara describing my dating fool. Oh, yikes, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the yawn. Who's getting sleepy, honey? Taylor gonna die from poison because everybody else is asleep. That's cool though, we can call him and wake him up. What about if we metal clawed the Poochaina? Wake up! <laughs> Blue's completely unbothered. Bye bye. <laughs> I wouldn't dip in that dating pool. <laughs> yeah, true. Poyo, you know. I think Duskull is a neat Pokemon and is kind of cute in a kind of like, like spooky, creepy way, you know? All right, let's, we probably just gonna have Talo like kill itself with the poison, so. Focus on Duskull. Poi no. Poi no? Yeah. This gulpin hanging on. Y'all start thinking of nicknames for this gulpin. Because he's going to need a nickname. Flubber. Pretty good name. Ponyo? Not Ponyo. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, Ponyo is a Ghibli film that I haven't seen actually yet. Um. I do. I need. I would like to see all Ghibli films. I was kind of talking about that um, a couple weeks back that I. because I rewatched Howl's very recently. Um, cause I did it, f um, for m the Line and Mouse podcast that I have with Holland. Um, so we did Howls and I really enjoyed it, but I realized that like on the rewatch, it was like not quite as good as I remembered it. So I was like, I wonder if my tastes are changing or if I'm just becoming a little more critical of things. I don't know. Um, or maybe nostalgia was kind of like 
a factor, and once I kind of like looked at it more objectively, it um, I could see more of the flaws. But I don't know. But then I was like, but I still enjoy it enough that like it's kind of like a cozy, cozy. What am I saying? Cozy um, vibe that I really like. Um, but I'd like to see all Ghibli films because I've really only seen like the ones that uh, Disney promoted heavily. So like Howl, Spirited Away, Kiki's, um, Totoro. I don't remember if I've seen anything outside of those. Oh, I've seen Castle in the Sky. Um, I think it might just be those five. So I, I want to uh, have a better working knowledge, I guess, of Ghibli. I showed them during movie nights sometimes. Yeah, and I'm so sad about it because often those movie nights overlap with like the end of my work shift because my work shifts are like literally like middle of the day. Like sometimes I wish that my shifts were either like later to to like late or like early to to early afternoon. So it's unfortunate that I miss them pretty much always, but um, I do see them happening. Um, but yeah, it's just the unfortunate reality of my schedule. Put me in, Kochi. I got hoop dreams. Beat me all right. But I've thought about like starting with the very first Ghibli film and like watching them in order of release. I made them a little later because they were during a lot of people's dinner time. Still during PST dinner time, but otherwise it's better. Okay, nice. That's good to know. I should try to, to check and see. What nights do you typically do them on again? Mining and Plussle. Saturday's 8 p.m. Okay, yeah, that's like right when I'm getting off work. But maybe I could like pop in late. All right. We're gonna sludge. Blue's laying with like her head at the edge of the bed and her little ear is like hanging over the edge of the bed. It's very cute. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> wow. Put on She's the Man. <laughs> great movie, great movie. Well, I might be, uh, really really under leveled here because these guys are packing a punch but the intimidate helps i guess all right let's do a dig and return great taste coley oh my gosh holy crap He's like demolishing my team. She's demolishing my team. Thank goodness. At least the electric moves won't hit Brozone. They're gonna turn around though and uh Psybeam is stronger because my special attack is better. This is all gonna go to honey now. Sheesh, bro. Yep. Am I gonna have to single-handedly take them out with Brozone? Brozone and Eugene might be the moves here. 
blue sleeping, snick, twix snoring. I can read. Very cute. Oh my gosh, that's hardly anything. The helping hand strats are rough. No! Don't think she's cute, Eugene. Women lie. <laughs> Alright, we're switching over to, to attacking Plusle. <clears throat> they can. Unfortunately. Welcome back from bus. So when they say I'm repulsive, they lie? Yes. Oh my gosh, why is it taking forever to kill this Plusle? Oh, okay, that was better. Oh Not the helping hand strats. Okay. It's cool. We cool. We live in. We live in. We ain't living no- Oh, we live in- <laughs> We live in- <laughs> We live in for reals! Okay. Pog indeed. Grozone grew another level. We won! We won the Coliseum! Wow, you're good. You've won the title. Okay, thanks, Leela. Wow, you're good. Congratulations for winning your challenge. What a marvelous run of battles. Here's your prize money of $3,040. That's a very weird amount. And as another prize, we also present you with this TM31. Virus 101. What is that? Um, we look forward to your next challenge. Yes! Coleman can now be purified. Okay, we gotta rearrange the team because everybody gained so many... ...levels about. Frozen can chill here at the end for a little bit. Let's save. Actually, let's look at these items real quick. Bullet seed and brick break. Brick break could be a nice, a nice TM for um, type coverage. Oh, Wizard 101. Disney called it Virus 101 because when he tried to download it, his computer blocked it and said it was a virus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Sometimes, um, so I like probably like five years ago now. I had been feeling very nostalgic for Neopets, so I made a new Neopets account because I could not get into my old Neopets account because I didn't have the email anymore, like the email account anymore that it was associated to, and their support team literally would not help me get into it or reset the email that was on it. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I just ain't 
getting my old Neopets back, which was really sad because of all of the, like, time and, and attachment I had to those Neopets. But I started a new account just so I could play some of the games again, uh, like mini games. And uh, sometimes I think about getting back into it. The polar bear mini game was my favorite. I played it every day. Coco's an infected. Oh no. She's gonna be in a TV show of some sort. Or or video game. <laughs> Alright. So we already had one suggestion for a nickname for Gulpin. Do we have any more? We got Flubber on the table. Do we have any other nicknames? Las Plagueis? Fallout Las... New, New Plagueis? I like Flubber. Flubber. Oh, okay, we learned Shockwave, apparently. That's... And Sing. Sing is more helpful to me than Refresh, I think. 18. Ura Snotball. That's a very interesting choice. Um, I don't know if I like the context. I, I mean, I don't think I know the context. I literally am having like a hard time processing sentences. Ura, you are a, okay, you are a snot <laughs> It's funny, <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to go with it. Thank you for the explanation, Coley. <laughs> I would have been calling him Ura the whole time. <laughs> oh, we're going to throw Ura out. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, we got Flubber. He's going to stay on the team for a while, I think. Um, but I'd really, there are other typings that I think I'd like more, like a fire type or flying type. So I don't know if he's going to stay forever, but. I also am still not confident that Poochie is going to stay forever. So, you know. I mean, you could have just gone with Ura. <laughs> yeah. That was funny though. That was that was good. I really enjoyed that moment. <laughs> Poison wasn't good till Gen 6 it felt. Yeah, unfortunately. I feel like a lot of poison types in these early gens have to kind of rely on other like tactics. Alright, so I guess now we'll go to the rock pokey spot. Hello, people! It's time for Pofty's Fast Break Report! We bring you news while it's breaking! Today, we're visiting Duking, the discoverer of pokey spots where wild Pokemon appear. Duking is said to be the driving force behind the booming popularity of wild Pokemon in Pyrite. Duking, so is this the pokey spot that you discovered? Hello, Duking here! Yes, that's absolutely right! For 15 long and torturous years, I toiled, snatching sleep only grudgingly, to find this pokey spot. Fifteen years? Is that true? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, Betty? It's Pofty. All right, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokemon to a Poke Spot. Well, seeing as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? Oh, you there. Yes, you, kid. You'll be perfect. Come over here, mate. Hi. Hello, Mom! Psst, Pofty, trouble. Bad trouble. Your makeup's running from your sweat. 
Oh, you should consider yourself lucky. Duking himself will show you how in person. Cool. All right, my friend, let me show you how you attract wild Pokemon to a Poke Spot. Do I bat my eyelashes? Do I give them a demure come hither stare? Um. First and above all else, you need these Duking brand Poke Snacks. You branded them with yourself? Here, I'll give you some. Yay, Poke Snacks. All right, my friend, lay those Poke Snacks out on that plate there. Go on now. One Poke Snack. Very good, mate. That's how you do it. When you've laid out the Poke Snacks, leave the area. Eventually, a wild Pokemon will come along. Just you wait. The more Poke Snacks you lay out, the longer a Pokemon will stay to eat, making it that much easier to catch. This is also important. My specially made spot monitor. This, I'm sure you'll agree, is truly something awesome. My goodness, you've developed this device yourself? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, Betty? It's Pofty! By the way, Duking, can you tell us what a spot monitor is? I'm glad you asked me that. My spot monitor is a dandy. It lets you know what's happening at any pokey spot wherever you are. Here, my friend. As my thanks for you hearing me out patiently, I'll make a gift of this too. Slot it into your PDA. That's all you need to do to make it work. Simple. <laughs> we got the spot monitor. All right, now you're set. Now when a wild Pokemon appears at any Poke Spot, your spot monitor will respond and alert you. I found three Poke Spots in all. There's one to the west of this one here. That's right, around there. Use these Poke Spots and catch yourself some wild Pokemon. Give it a try, mate. Maybe I'll put three down. Bye! King of Dookies really hyping up his motion sensors. Yeah. We're gonna go to the Oasis spot now. You just followed me here? Oh, it's you. You're that lad who helped us out on that news show. Thanks much, mate. I'm surprised you came out to a place like this. It must mean you're seriously interested in wild Pokemon. That's marvelous. This makes it all worthwhile. My teaching you, I mean. So, you fine upstanding lad, lover of wild Pokemon. I have some information that you'll find to be special. But my friend, I also have a favor to ask. That's a fa fair deal, right? Sure, I guess. Yeah, ha ha! Thank you quite kindly. You see, there are several Pokemon spots that hardly ever show up at Pokespots. Wow, what am I saying? Trapinch, Surskit, and Whoop Whooper. I'm having a rotten time of it trying to catch those three. If you were to catch them, I'd gladly trade you some of my Pokemon, mate. I'm counting on you, mate. I gotta be on my way now. So, I don't know if I'm gonna catch any of the Pokespot Pokemon unless we ca we see one of those three, but... Poop King looks like he'd brag to a girl online about that. <laughs> Poop King? His chest is a triangle. Yeah. Tiny waist, very broad shoulders. Whoops, mustn't forget. I promised to give you some special information, didn't I? Duking's a fine character, though. I mean, he was a good ally in uh, in the first game. If you go way off to the northeast, there's a pokey spot that's hard to find since it's inside a cave. That's my favorite pokey spot. You gotta go see it. Well, I should be going on my way. Real pleasure chatting with you again, mate. I'll be heading back to Pyrite. Come visit whenever you'd like. Let's meet again, mate. Adios! He's trying to be Johnny Bravo for Halloween. You gonna be there too? Probably, I don't know. Me on my bike. What do you figure the boss is gonna do now? I'm tired of this life, man. I need to put down roots somewhere. And don't whine too much. You know what the boss always says. He'll get Team Mirror B together one day and we'll all we'll own all the Pokemon in the world. Sure. Do you really think we could pull off something like Hi, dummies. What, boss? Oh, oh, it's just some kid. Don't sneak up on me like that. Don't be so jumpy. I've got my radar. We'll know if the boss is coming around. 
Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> The radar's got something. It's the boss. Mirror B. Pokemon of Cup. Okay. The grooviest dude in all of Pokemon. <laughs> hey, my posse. Have you rounded up Pokemon? Have you rounded up Pokemon like I wanted? Hello, HS. Hmm, stop the music. Oh, 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 I sense the pleasing scent of Pokemon. Oh, yes, I do. Maybe you're just a little hood, but maybe you're also one fine trainer with the goods. How about you get with it and join my posse? Be one of us and you'll soon be owning all the Pokemon around the world. No. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. You always had this smell to me. You see that you would be our enemy. How I deal with a threat is to nip it while it's a bud yet. <laughs> I'll be show showing you my power now. Try not to be blown away by a sense of wow. Let the music play. I don't know if I was prepared for this, but okay. But the music! Heck yeah, I am. If you get a chance, Coco, this song is fire. Got to level up. Oh, we got a shadow Pokemans. Shadow Pokemans. I'm gonna kill all the Lombres first, though. Okay, maybe we're gonna <clears throat> throw a Pokeball. <laughs> oh, dang it. dancing until the battle's over. Okay, what if I use a great ball? What if I use a premier ball? Jesus had swag. Jesus would be the one to have the best moves, TBH. True. Yeah, he's still swag. <laughs> Did 
Did we get it? I didn't pay attention. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. Did we- did we catch him? I think we must have. Nice! You messed up my rhythm. I just can't, no, I just can't do it. Yay, Voltorb was sent to the PC store and she's um... Oh, you, 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 you make me so angry. I'm seeing red. Don't you dare think this is over. Just you wait and see. One of these days with my elegant steps, I'll knock you sideways. Let's go, escape. We did, we threw off, we threw off my groove. Sorry. I got a mirror radar. Came with instructions to Trudley. This is how the radar works. When you finish reading, get rid of this. The radar shows you where mirror B, that's the boss, happens to be. Wherever the boss appears somewhere, a mark appears on the screen. When you see the mark, check out the radar. It'll tell you where he is. You probably asked me where the boss is when he's not on radar. You know how mysterious he can be. Who knows where he goes off to? Probably off getting Pokemon or something. Somewhere far away, out of the trans- Oh, I did the wrong voice. No, I don't need the instructors again. V, I haven't completed analysis on the data ROM, but I did make a stunning discovery about Cypher's plan. Please come right away. We need to discuss this in person. Alright, well let me put some Poke Snacks here. I'm also gonna check my shadow monitor here. Oh, Hound Hour is almost ready. To be purified. Swag equals sun of actual god. It all, it all checks out. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um. I guess we go in a pie right until we have to pop back to the lab. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Be right back. Okay, I washed my hands, don't worry. Have I saved recently? I don't remember. It's been about 20 minutes. Thank you for the welcome back. Appreciate it. I can't wait to stuff my face on Thursday and then have the best nap of the year. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there's bad trouble. A bunch of shady characters snuck in and took Meg, the receptionist, hostage. <coughs> Didn't he speed runs bathroom breaks? He has no time for hand washing. <laughs> oh, 
Whoops, you're not going this way. I think I forgot to switch my team around. Carvana probably has rough skin. But I th think... I don't remember what types are physical or something. And I'm not gonna bother with it too much, oh well. And I also forgot to heal. Look at me. Look at me. So part dark type. Okay. <laughs> I told Matt he should bring home potatoes and gravy because that's all I want. Pro gamer. Yeah, you know me. So pro. Leveled up Poochie. I do think that by the end of the game, return on uh, Honey is going to be so OP. I'm really looking forward to that. Honey evolves into Yogi Bear. Beaten like a punk like- by a punk like you? Ugh. Hello, Nicole. Are you off this week? Do you get to enjoy the whole week? Alright, we're healing and then we're rearranging the team. Line up. I have a half day tomorrow and Thursday and Friday off. Heck yeah! Right now the children are too busy for speech. And to that I say good! <laughs> Do you get paid regardless? I'm just curious. Yes, nice. I'm just here in my clothis. Oh, like, is it like a little closet room? I just, oh. I don't think Hound- I don't- I think I said I don't think Houndour is gonna be the- the, um, fire type that we have on the team. Um, I think I'd rather have a different fire type. I have one in mind, um, that I know is in this game. That is if we end up settling on a fire type, but, um, I still want to run and, and get it purified and then put something else in its spot. Gives you time to watch Hot Frosty. I don't know if I remember that joke. Or if I even know that joke.
It's not a joke, it just is. <laughs> Still confused. <laughs> but I believe you. It's a movie. Oh, okay. I hope Wendy's is capitalized. Netflix movie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's like some new Christmas movie or something. Houndar regained faint attack. And charm. And a ribbon. Alright, we have to nickname Houndour. It's a boy. Anybody have have suggestions for this little fire pup? Apparently it's so bad it's good. Basically it's a Hallmark Netflix movie about a hot snowman who comes to life and is taken advantage of by every woman in town. Hold up, I think I saw something about this. This is ringing a bell. Is the main woman in it the lady who played um, Gretchen in Mean Girls? I don't remember the actor's name, the actress's name. Um, but she is a Hallmark queen now. I know that. Lacey Chabert. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I have, I saw that briefly. I just must have immediately dumped it out of my brain. Um, yeah. Blue Thena. That's, she's laying on my bed. Lacey Chabert is pretty. Um, but yeah, she, I know she's a Hallmark queen now, which it's fu so funny to me to, to think that you were like one of the lead roles in one of the like, biggest, I would say, pop culture movies of the 2000s, and now you do Hallmark. Okay, any... Oh, Scruffy is the only nickname suggestion we have so far for Houndour. Gretchen Wieners, yeah. Oh, Blue Thena was your name suggestion. Well, Houndour is a boy. Ooh. Blue Polo. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're having a great day. Blue Thino. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Blue Polo, sure. Blue Polo Justice. Yeah. <laughs> Blue Polo. <laughs> That's his name. Blue Polo. <laughs> Rada Blue. Boythina. <laughs> Hot Frosty is even appearing when I'm doing academic research. Blue Polo will be transferred. Thank you. Okay, now let's let's put some more Pokemans in here. Now blue blue Polo can be on the outer ring. I guess it's the same either way. All right, um the lowest level ones we have. Okay. Spinarak and Numble, so I'm just gonna put one of those in. I guess the flow don't matter. Did you ever finish JFA? Yes, I did. I enjoyed it. Okay, have fun near. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze.
But I felt like I was gonna sneeze. Oh my gosh, I've already been live an hour and a half. Holy crud. I know I say that every time, but like, legitimately. I've gotten so much done today. I'm so happy. Only 22 hours to go. Oh, is that what we're doing today? Everybody in here okay? Haven't I met him before? Hang on, hang on. Let me Google. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know who this is yet. We'll see. We'll see. Meg, they came and took Meg. Meg is Nat's younger sister. You know, she's the receptionist. You've seen her, right? The intruders grabbed her and hustled her upstairs with them in the elevator. Oh, I bet I can get those items now. Obviously, my priorities are straight. All right, all you listen up. Everybody has to remain calm and quiet here. No funny stuff. If anyone tries to get out, there will be serious consequences. Get it? I think I forgot to change my... Did I... I keep forgetting to rearrange my party I think I just received such an annoying email that requires my full attention and lots of tedious work so goodbye for now nice to pop in oh I'm sorry in thanks for popping in I hope you have a great day longest I've gone is three hours 47 minutes and most of it was no calm no we good okay um I, the longest I have gone is 12 hours, I believe. But it's difficult for me to sustain that. And like, I think there were a couple, I think on most occasions I've had Holland come in and do something for like two to four hours and I just sit there beside her. <laughs> Shut up, nerd, <laughs> with love in. Eugene Fitzherbert, yeah. Tara named him Eugene. Doesn't he look like a Eugene? Very first stream with whack. It was three and a half hours. I've genuinely, like, considered, like, if I were ever in a position where I did not have, like, a steady job, um, my consideration to fill in, be like, between jobs as I searched would be, like, trying to stream 40 hours a week instead. Um, but I wonder if I could truly sustain that or not. Boy, boy. 12 hours for me. Twitch did not like me that day at all. I remember that day. And it kept, like, disconnecting and breaking stuff up and... Ugh. So annoying. Pearl is cute. Pearl is also a huggable Pokemon. Sveal, I mean, is a huggable Pokemon. Twitch legit went into- oh, I remember that, yeah. OBS being a jerk era, and Twitch being a jerk era. Although Twitch is consistently a jerk. Hey, you got a, a, a really exciting stream plan today? How about we tell nobody on their mobile notifications? Twitch didn't like me during my longest stream either. What? It's like they know. <laughs> it's like they're like, oh, you want to do something for a long time today? Nope. Haha, <laughs> sucker. You know what I mean? That's how it feels sometimes. You're tougher than that security guard at the entrance. Well, obviously. Strength does not come from muscles. It comes from grit and integrity and... 
and and valor. You saved us. Thank you. I'm I'm scared. Oh, you were saved. Yay! I thought we were doomed. I thought they might keep us locked up as hostages forever. Thanks for rescuing us. Well, what's up, dude? Ha ha ha, you look mystified. You don't know how I managed to be on the elevator with you, do you? I'll tell you what I did. I braced myself flat up against the ceiling. It takes a lot of strength. Not bad, huh? I demand your respect, and now we battle. Torkin. Torkin. Torkin on the table in Red Lobster. <laughs> Alright, let's... How do I want to do this? We could mud slap and then water gun. Bring in the dancing lobsters. I pretty much, if I if there's like a subscription service and you can pay a little extra for no ads, I 90% of the time will do it. YouTube, I pay for YouTube Premium. I pay for Peacock Premium or whatever, so that there's no ads. Um, if I can. You know, if I can get past an ad, I'm I'm gonna usually pay for it. Also, I like um, being able to listen to YouTube videos through my Apple CarPlay, and have my phone like closed and locked. You know, um, and if you, from what I understand, if you don't have YouTube Premium, you can't like have YouTube playing in the background of your phone. Like, it has to be, like, the open and active app on the screen in order for it to play. So that's another reason that I think it's great. I don't really mind ads. I just always have the unfortunate timing where I'll ask a question to the streamer and I get ads. Oh, no. It's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll never know. <laughs> never pay for no ads because I'm cheap. I usually just switch the tab. I mean... Whatever works for you is, I feel like it would work for me if I wasn't so, like, determined to just get to what I'm watching. Does that make sense? Disney Plus is upping their sub price again because they feel their quality is worth that increase. <laughs> They've kind of had some flops lately, though. <laughs> All right, we're gonna water gun now that Kecleon is a ground type. All right, how do I wanna deal with this Makuhita? Hmm. I'm afraid to like kill it, but it is kind of beefy. I'm gonna take the chance. I'm gonna take the chance. Please don't kill the Makuhita. Okay, cool. I, uh... Oh, not the side beam. Okay, we good, we good, we good. I'm just wondering whether, other than Inside Out 2 and Deadpool Wolverine, where this quality is. Yeah, good point. Noise! Now we water type, though. So, maybe a, maybe a body slam would be good. And then I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. I might have to go stock up on more Pokeballs here soon. 
Yeah, I mean, there is the appeal to, like, the old Disney, like, the classics and, like, the old shows from, like, Disney Channel and, and those sorts of things. But as far as, like, the new content they're producing, it's kind of mid. Yeah, I haven't seen um, Deadpool Wolverine yet, but I do want to. Um, because I've heard good feedback and because Stray Kids does a song in it. Um, but I have never seen a Deadpool film, so I feel like I need to watch the first two before I watch Deadpool and Wolverine. I just feel like I might be lost otherwise. <clears throat> That's fair. We beat Torkin. Now he can go Torkin on the table if he wants. You need to do is answer our questions if you comply you won't get hurt hold it punk you shouldn't be snooping around i'll do whatever i want i saved the professor didn't you hear about that <clears throat> yeah Comply. All right, let's see. I think Dodo is the bigger uh, threat here, so we're going to take it out first. I hope I don't become underleveled. I mean, I guess I could always go grind up levels in the battle square or whatever, but y'all know me, I'm grinding. Um, we'll do bite on Chime Echo. <laughs> Oh, a flinch! Got him on the flinch! Please don't poison me. Somebody give me some spaghetti. You lot, doesn't Cypher frighten you? You should be scared of me. He just disappears, he just vaporizes into the abyss. Sleepy, you sleepy puppy. You being very good girl. What kind of spaghetti? Um, this the spaghetti kind. You know what I mean? It was terrible. They suddenly barged up in here and started beating Sec up. Ugh, I didn't expect Cipher to pull a stunt this bold or reckless. They came looking for Net. I'm guessing that your data ROM contains sensitive information they want to keep secret at all costs. I'll be fine. I'm worried about Net, though. Please go to him. Gotta save the people, though. Oh, we can come in here now? Cool. We got the 
ether. We drove those freaky thugs out with some unfriendly persuasion. Can you imagine the nerve of them coming after defenseless women like me? <laughs> yeah, defenseless. You could probably knock them into the next region. <laughs> Anka, you're a doll. I see your pretty face on TV all the time. But you know, you're a lot prettier in person than on TV. Okay. This guy. <sighs> this guy, though. You're a lot prettier in person than in on TV. Okay, please. Stay over on that side of the desk. What? Who are you? You're getting... I'm gaining... Bleh, I'm getting Anka's autograph. You stay out of this. Cypher P on Rixor. Quillfish and Rhyhorn. Wasn't Rhyhorn or was it Rhydon that was the first Pokemon ever designed? I know it was one of them, but I can't remember which one. Um, we'll do Dig for Rhyhorn. And Shockwave for Quillfish. Haha, <laughs> missed. Wait, what? Oh, Rhyhorn took it with the lightning rod. Shoot. I didn't know he had it. Alright, well then we will switch it up. We're doing sludge. Right on. Okay. Noise. Oh, this is not going great. All right, we're changing tactics. We're just gonna go with same type attack bonuses. Get this Rhyhorn out of here. That makes sense that the, the Gen 1 gems would have the statues of right, right on. Yeah, nostalgia can be a big factor with, like, enjoyment of things. And I don't think it's wrong or on either account. Um, but um, I think it definitely is a factor to be considered sometimes. All right, we gonna, we gonna, uh, who's faster? I think it's, yeah. I've also struggled to get into Harry Potter. Um, I've tried multiple times. Um, and I feel bad about it sometimes, but... Oh, hello! Hello, little girl. Hello, little girl. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go outside? Okay. Give me... Give me ten minutes and I'll take you outside, okay? Let's go over here. <laughs> Tara hates little twerps with glasses. I'm a little twerp with glasses slash contacts. <laughs> Blue! <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> Hater's gonna hate, 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 hate. I forget when, but they definitely did. It's been so long since I've seen it. Oh, okay. I I believe you. I don't have the context. I, he especially hates me because I'm a one -y is not the comment I expected to see in the chat. Not the one -ies. They cut out a lot of Goblet of Fire. Spew! Blubber gained some apparent points. Maybe I can finally... 
Dang it with the defense. Okay, shockwave. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. Alright, what are we doing here? Um, we're gonna bite. We're gonna shockwave again. Boink! I know, I know you told me about oneies. I just didn't expect you to bring it up right now. That's why I was surprised. <laughs> You're a oneie like a cyclops. Coughing has levitate, I'm pretty sure. We gonna switch. I just wanted beef. I love beef. Beef is delicious. Unless you're talking about like, I got the beef with you, you know what I mean? Maybe I didn't understand. Oh, I said so sorry, Neville doesn't have a CGI budget. Oh my. Flubba went flying. Flubba went flying. Okay, we didn't we we didn't um land that hit, I guess. At least that is an unpopular opinion. I feel like often people state very popular takes as unpopular. Yeah. Unpopular opinion. Hang on, I'm trying to think of one that would definitely be a popular opinion. Um, let me think of one. Hang on. Uh, now, I, now I'm blanking and looking like a fool. Um, <laughs> Uh, unpopular opinion. Movies are always better than books. You know what I mean? Unpopular opinion. Pepperoni pizza is good. Yeah. <laughs> I was using struggle for reals. I know there is a heal station, like, in this building. I just gotta hold out. Doritos are disgusting! I actually think- okay. Doritos, I- I enjoy. <laughs> I do- I- but I enjoy most corn chips of- of all sorts. All sorts of corn chips I enjoy. Fritos, mmm. Tortilla chips, mmm. Um Fritos, oh, I got I got a Pokemon at the spot monitor. Will it tell me what Pokemon it is? At the cave. Should I- should I run? Cheetos? Not Cheeto Puffs, but Cheetos? I think Cheetos are fine. I think that Puffs are better. Um, the better version of- of Cheeto. But I don't, um, think that regular Cheetos are bad. Simply white cheddar Cheetos are t oh those are very good. Thanksgiving is a pointless holiday other than we have than to give thanks, which we should do all the other time. I think that Thanksgiving is a great day for naps, um, but the concept of it should be celebrated every day. I agree with that.
Do I run to the pokey spot? <laughs> I feel like I should. Just to see if it's uh, any of the Pokemon he was looking for. He was looking for Trapinch, Wooper. I don't remember what the last one was. We got we got two Pokemon going off. The cave and the oasis. I think it's good to bring people together to argue about politics and burnt stuffing. Oh, my family does not stuff the turkey. Um, we have found that when we stuff the turkey, the stuffing tends to cook unevenly and then the turkey ends up drier than than if we don't so we typically don't stuff the turkey we just cook dressing separately which in my head stuffing and dressing are kind of the same thing it's just like how it's prepared um but so we typically do like a dressing separate from the turkey Okay, we don't care about Zubat. Oh, I guess I have to battle it. This music, though. So, Zubat's definitely not one of the ones he was looking for, right? Trap Inch, Wooper. Surskit was it? I think it was Surskit. Was the last one. Bye. I might not always stop and run to the pokey spots to be fully transparent. Oh, don't care about that either. Pre President's Day is in, what, February, and Memorial Day is in May? I mean, Easter falls in there. <laughs> we need fewer hol holiday. Yeah, and St. Patrick's, that's true. I meant work holidays that you- Oh, I don't get paid for any work holidays. <laughs> I would like to, but I don't. We gotta pick up. We got rare candy. All right. I'm gonna heal up the Mons. I'm gonna walk back to the ONBS building and save it. And that's where we're gonna call it. Are you serious? I don't care. <laughs> Watch that be one of the Pokemon I'm looking for. Uh, oh, let me get to the front of the building. Front of the building! Okay. All right. Double save, just to be sure. We've played nine hours of this game. All right. Thank you all for being here and hanging out with me. 
And if you live in the States, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving well, holiday this week. And if you don't, I hope you have a great week regardless. And I hope that you all stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Um, appreciate you all. And have a great day. Bye-bye.